Yeah, so this is a moment we've been waiting for for a really long time. River Rock's excited because we got connected with U.S. Sherpa International selling their gear um, and, and products from Nepal over Christmas. And it wasn't until I met the uh, one of the founders of U.S. Sherpa International that I re realized that he had a whole trekking component to his operations. So when we started talking about that, Keith and I are rock climbers. Uh, trekking is what we love to do. So the idea of going to Nepal with, with a Sherpa that we have connections with just got us really excited. So we're so happy that he's here and representing Nepal. Yeah, uh, I'm Ongil Sherpa. Uh, I'm the founder of U.S. Sherpa, uh, which is based here in the uh, U.S. and in Nepal. Um, and I'm very excited to be here uh, collaborating with River Rock Outfitters and uh, the folks who are here. You know, we were excited uh, hiking in the Shenandoah and, mm -hmm. and hiking in West Virginia and then the very next day we're talking about trekking to Nepal and that's what we're really excited about. In fact, the Sister City program right now is talking about our trek for May 2017 mm -hmm. and we're planning and working with our Sherpa to uh, make that available to people here in Fredericksburg to be able to plan trips and we look forward as a delegation to be able to go over there and kind of plant the Fredericksburg flag and, and River Rock Outfitter flag to say, hey, we're here and, and can't wait to come back. So. Yeah. And, and that makes the whole Sister City program even ex exciting that it's it's not just going over and doing sightseeing you can do something specialized like as a delegation we'll go over there and view Kathmandu and Bhaktapur but then each of us will go off in our own adventures and for River Rock we look forward to working with our Sherpas to get a trekking adventure going for for the delegation so we're really excited for what the future holds for us and and um, our Nepal friends yeah and I think the uh, you know because the tourism sector, you know, the, is a very, very big uh, economic uh, generator in Nepal. Uh, so many people in Nepal rely on tourism. So, you know, my family in the Everest region, Kathmandu, they won't be, you know, like I said, a Sherpa is already a, a indigenous group and and I would say, you know, 80, probably 80% 80 are relying on tourism. So they have all along the villages in the trails, they have, you know, little lodges and uh, little restaurants, uh, you know, obviously Sherpa guide, porter, cook. So I think uh, really promoting that aspect, I think the fact that tourism is so vital there and the time right now, you know, because of the earthquakes in Nepal, uh, I lost my cousin in uh, Avalanche in 2014 in Mount Everest. He was on the way to Camp One. Uh, and you know the the avalanche, which is uh, one of the very dangerous in Mount Everest, mm -hmm. um, and we, he passed away in 2014 uh, in that avalanche. And you know this year, I think with the earthquakes uh, too, that um, I think we you know yes, helping others, uh, writing checks, that's one thing. But I think going going to also see and be part of that, you know in. Uh, in that manner, I think it's you know, very important. Yeah. We could start now. So that's one of the things while we're dreaming about Nepal, uh, come to River Rock Outfitter, we'll get you on hikes. And people will start to see that we're going to start building our hiking program based around this idea of going and trekking in Nepal. So we've got the beautiful Shenandoah Mountains. We've got great local trail systems. Uh, come out and join us, uh, gear up, and, and we'll get you outside and, and hopefully to Nepal in May of 2017. Good point that you can't just go to Nepal. You, you need to you need to work up to it. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's uh, getting prepared. Um, you, know, you have to, obviously, there is the physical preparedness uh, going, like I said, going, like I said, going out to the trails nearby, to the mountains, and really building your uh, physical ability. Um, and that also, I think, helps, you know, mentally to, to prepare. Uh, and then, then we'll have our, our role in helping in the mountains there in Nepal. Yeah. How different would the mountains in Nepal be, say, compared to the, to the Shenandoah Valley? Um, very different. Uh, the mountains there are very big. Um, as you can see, you know, the, uh, Nepal, the 
the country Nepal itself, the size is fairly small. It's about the size of uh, 55,000 square miles, so which is very small. However, the geographic diversity is one of the most unique in anywhere in the world. They, I think, go from about 80 meters above sea level to almost uh, 9,000 meters, so which is, you know, we are talking, I think, two, 300 or 500 feet to almost 30,000 feet. Uh, so that makes it very interesting. You know, you fly to Kathmandu, which is at around five, 6,000 feet elevation, then we can fly, we can take an airplane half hour north, then you are near 9,000 feet. Now all of a sudden, very thin air, uh, colder climate, you will see big mountains all around you. Uh, then you go, 30 minutes south of Kathmandu, then you are near subtropical climate where there are tigers and elephants. And I think that's the beauty that Nepal offers, you know, the tourism and the diversity, whether it's ethnic groups of people or the, you know, different landscape. Um, and so the mountain wise, you know, I think um, I was just over there. I had a one, um, one colleague came with me and then she uh, does a lot of skiing here in the Northeast uh, and British uh, active and she totally uh, so she was asking me for a grid of the trekking and I said I'll say like kind of easy to moderate and when we did a three days trip she said for her that was extreme <laughs> so the I think you know the elevation gain uh, is so rapid over there uh, and you know the amount of steepness that goes in day and also the weather you know then like i said the weather pattern being so different uh, it that makes it you know interesting yes. have you ever hiked anything like what he just talked about absolutely not so keith and i will be right along with our customers getting ourselves prepared for sure yeah. luckily we have an insider so he'll he'll put us yeah. on a fitness regimen to get ourselves yeah. ready